Starting with the sweet name of Allah Almighty, who is the Lord of Lords, who is the King of Kings, who is the Master of Life and Death. Respected viewers, today our topic is about Islam and terrorism. Uh, the reference book by Dr. Zakir Naik. Muslims are fundamentalists and terrorists. Question: Why are the most of the Muslim fundamentalists and terrorists? Uh, this question is offered uh, held at Muslims either directly or indirectly during any discussion on religion on or word affairs. Muslim stereotypes and perpetrated in every form of the media accompanied by the gross misinformation about Islam and Muslims. In fact, such a misinformation and false propaganda often leads to discriminations and acts of violence against Muslims. A case in point of anti-Muslim campaign in the American media following Okanfa bomb blast, where the press was quick to declare a Middle Eastern conspiracy. Behind the attack, the culprit was later identified as a soldier from the American Armed Forces. Let us analyze the allegation of fundamentalism and terrorism. Definition of the word fundamentalism. A fundamentalism is a person who follows and adheres to the fundamentalists, um, uh, fundamentals of the doctrine or theory he is following. For a person to be a good doctor, he should now follow and practice the fundamentals of medicines. In the other words, he should be a fundamentalist uh, and in the field of medicine. For a person to be a good mathematician, he should now follow and practice the fundamentals of mathematics. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of mathematics. For a person to be a good scientist, he should know, follow and practice the fundamentals of science. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of science. Second, not all fundamentalists are the same. One cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush. One cannot categorize the fundamentalist as either good or bad. Such as a categorization of any fund fundamentalism will depend upon the field or activity in which he is fundamentalism, fundamentalist. Sorry. A fundamentalist robber or thief causes harm to society and is therefore undesirable. A fundamentalist doctor on the other hand benefits society and earns much respect. I am proud to be a Muslim fundamentalist. I am proud uh, fundamentalist Muslims who be the grace of Allah knows, follows and strives the practices, the fundamentals of Islam. A true Muslim does not shy away from the being of fundamentalism. I am proud to be a fundamentalism Muslim because I know that the fundamentals of Islam are beneficial to humanity and the society and uh, also the whole world. There is not a single fundamental of Islam that causes harm or is against the interest of human race as whole. Many people harbor misconceptions about Islam and consider several teachings of Islam to be unfair or improper. This is due to insufficient and incorrect knowledge of Islam. If one critically analyzes the teachings of Islam with an open mind, one cannot escape the fact that Islam is uh, full of benefits both at the individuals and the collective, collective levels. Dictionary meaning the word fundamentalist. According to the Webster Dictionary, fundamentalism was a movement in American Protestantism that arose in earlier part of 20th century. It was a reaction to modernism and stressed the infa infallibility of the Bible, not only in belief in the Bible as the literal word of God. This uh, fundamentalism was a word initially used for a group of Christians who believed that the Bible was the verbatim word of God without any errors and mistakes. According to the Oxford Dictionary, fundamentalism means strict maintenance of ancient or fundamental doctrines of any religion, especially Islam. Today is the moment uh, a person uses the word fundamentalist, he uh, thinks of a Muslim who is a terrorist. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. A terrorist is a person who causes terror. The moment a robber sees a policeman, he is rifled. A policeman is a terrorist for the robber. Similarly, every Muslim should be a ter terrorist for the 
एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द सोसाइटीज सच एज थीव्स डॉक्ट्स एंड रेपिस्ट वेन अवर सच एन एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट सीज अ मुस्लिम ही शुड बी टेरीफाइड इट इज ट्रू दैट द वर्ल्ड टेररिस्ट इज जनरली यूज फॉर पर्सन हु काज इज टेरर अमोंग द कॉमन पीपल बट अ ट्रू मुस्लिम शुड ऑनली बी अ टेररिस्ट टू सेलेक्टिव पीपल एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स एंड नॉट टू द कॉमन एंड इनोसेंट पीपल इन अफेक्ट मुस्लिम शुड बी अ सोर्स ऑफ पीस आर इनोसेंट पीपल मुस्लिम आर द पीसफुल एज वी नो दैट different lobbies given to the lobbies given to the same individual or the same action that is terrorist and patriot before uh, india achieved independence from british rule some freedom fighters of india who did not subscribe to non violence were labeled as a terrorist by the british government the same individuals have the same uh, the same individuals have been lauded by indians for the same activities and held as patriots the two different labels have been given to the same people or the same set of actions one is calling him a terrorist uh, while the Islam other is calling him a patriot uh, those who believe this it is a religion of the peace whose fundamental tells to teach its followers to maintain and promote peace throughout the world thus every muslim should be a fundamentalist that is he should follow the fundamentals of the religion of peace islam he should be a terrorist uh, only for towards the anti anti social elements in order to promote peace and justice in the society was islam spread by the sport no um, any question um, frequently asked by the non muslims and uh, other religious people that uh, about islam that is how can islam be called the religion of peace when it was spread by sword answer my answer is that it uh, is a common complaint among some some, some non muslims that islam would not have millions of adherents all over the world uh, if it had not been spread by use of force the following points will make it clear that uh, for from being spread by the sword it was the inherent force of truth uh, reason and logic that was responsible for the rapid spread of islam islam means peace especially islam comes from the word salam which means peace it also means submitting once will allah sallallahu allah taala uh, thus islam is a religion of peace which is required by uh, sub- submitting once will to the will of supreme creator allah sallallahu taala khair hul ki sometimes force has to be used to maintain peace uh, each and every human being in the world uh, is not favor of maintaining peace and harmony this maintaining uh, there were many who would dis- disturb uh, for their own vested interest sometimes force has to be used uh, to maintain this peace it is precisely for this reason that we have the police we use force against criminals and anti social elements to maintain the peace in country or our area islam promotes peace out at the same time uh, islam ex- uh, export exhorts its followers to uh, flight um, fight where the uh, there is oppression the flight only be used to promote peace and justice this is a uh, first part of our uh, topic uh, uh, islam and terrorism uh, and the next part is coming soon Uh, kindly subscribe our channel for the more uh, information about Islam and stay connected with us. God bless you. Jazakallah khair.